the three of you were named to the uh, top team, the all tournament team. You especially, this is something that uh, happened to you after you transferred to the school. Is that something that uh, coach kind of sold you on, those kinds of opportunities, and is that what drew you to the school? No, I mean, it was, it was all about the team and going to accomplish another championship, you know. I had never been a part of a, a championship like this, and, uh, you know, that's really what Coach Early and I talked about in the recruiting process. And, you know, this was our goal from day one. So to do it with, with your brothers and your family that you go to war with every day is just, you know, really special right now. Continuing with questions for the UConn student athletes, second row, Wall Street Journal. Robert O'Connell, Wall Street Journal. This one's for Cam. Uh, there was a moment there, Cam, sorry, right here in the middle. There was a moment there where uh, I think you got a foul called on you and you were maybe looking for a jump ball or something and you were running around and coach kind of calmed you down, kept you from maybe getting a tee or something like that. I'm curious, how often is that going in that direction and not you guys having to calm coach down about not going too nuts on the sideline? <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, we're two similar personalities, but, you know, I just, I was going for the offensive rebound and felt like I had the ball and, you know, just heat of the moment reaction. Uh, but, you know, luckily I have coach to have my back and calm me down because I probably would have gotten a technical if, if I didn't uh, calm down. So, yeah. If you have a question for the UConn student athletes, please raise your hand. Let's go to the third row on the right side. Nick Lawrence, I'm a major man. Is Cam 20 or so you came into college, you only had one scholarship offer. You went to Loyola. Your first year, you were the first team in the whole country to get eliminated from conference tournaments. Just talk about the trials and tribulations to get here, get that win. And also, you have some nice hardware up against your brother. He won the Tuart, and now you're a national champion. Just talk about that with your brother, a little relationship there. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be here without without my brother. Um, you know, having four years ahead of me, I've always been able to watch him, you know, kind of grow up and go through the similar experiences that I, I'm now going through. Um, so, you know, like I said, I wouldn't be here without him, and I'm just so thankful for all the, you know, work he's helped me put in. And, um, yeah, I, I can't say enough about my family, and, you know, I wouldn't be here without them. So, so thankful. Next question is for Adam. And, Adam, hang on to the microphone when you're done. Yeah, for all three of you guys, Adam Zagori, NJ.com, I think the UConn guards outscored the Purdue guards 55 to 17. How much going into the game was it your mindset to kind of control and disrupt their guards? And uh, how proud of you are the fact that you dominated them 55 to 17? Adam, pass the mic to your left, and we'll ask Cam to take that, then Stefan, and then Tristan. Yeah, go first. Go first. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was a big part of our game plan, just trying to uh, limit as much as we can from the guards, and I feel like we did a good job at that. And, you know, just playing confident on the other end, I feel like Coach put us in great positions to be successful all night, and it worked out for us. Tristan. Yeah, I mean, uh, we knew we knew he was going to get his points, and, you know, it took him 25 shots to get 37 points. So, you know, that was the game plan, just uh, limit the guards. And, um, you know, Steph Cam, um, you know, Hoss, when he got in there, they did great jobs on the guards. and you know, limits to them and their impact. Cam, did you have something to add to that? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, coming in, we knew Zach, Zach Eady's a tough guy to stop. Uh, you know, we wanted to make him work for everything, but, you know, I think the coaches made a point that we'd be really locked in if, you know, we could control their three-point attempts. And, you know, I think holding them to seven, uh, you know, we were really just locked in on, you know, not letting those other guys get involved in the game. Um, and I think, you know, Steph and Tristan and all the guards did a great job. In the center of the room, please raise your hand for us. Hi, Adi Hughes of uh, CBS Sports. Um, did you guys, uh, and this is for any of you, did you expect them to back off three-pointers? Like, you, you just talked about how you defended them, but did you actually expect that they would simply not take them, that they would show that, I guess, discipline and react to how you were defending them, or was that did that come as a surprise to you? Tristan, can you take that one for us? I mean... Um, we watch that film and they get that three-pointers off, you know, people going down there and helping on Edie. Uh, you know, the coaches did a great job game planning and made sure that um, that was a focus on that. We didn't leave the three-point line and, and let Edie do all, you know, his, his damage because, you know, he only shoots twos, he shoots no threes. So um, if he makes 15 twos like he did today, that's 30. And then where the rest of the points going to come from? So, you know, they, they did a great job of scouting and, um, yeah, credit to them. If you have a question for the student athletes from UConn, please raise your hand. We'll send the microphone to you. All right, we'll take one in the back of the room on the right side. Andy Dorf, Sports Byline USA Radio Network. 
Talk about your guys on the ball pressure, just relentless throughout the whole game and how you made it so daunting for those guys to basically get any shot up. Stefan, can you take that one, please? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like our post defense started with, you know, pressuring the ball and just trying to limit, uh, you know, just easy, easy catches for Edie. So, I mean, I, I feel like our coaches did a great job at, uh, with the scout and I feel like we executed it well and it worked out for us. Final question for the UConn student athletes all the way right. Can't get any further right. Uh, this is Richard Smith with Independent News Media here in Phoenix. Uh, this question's for Tristan. Something Coach talked about on Saturday was how this team never lost its drive. They they didn't act like they were the, the defending champions. They kept their focus. They were hungry. How much did you take it on yourself to set that kind of tone for the team? And then when did you realize that these guys were as locked in as the team was last year, if, if not more? Was it even before the season started? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't take any credit for it. Setting the tone, you know, I was all coach. Um, you know, last year was last year. It's not uh, defending. You know, that, that trophy, 23 trophy is, is in the crib. And coach office, uh, nobody can take that from him. So, uh, you know, this is a whole different year. And we, we had goals, winning five championships. And, you know, we got all those done. So, you know, credit coach to set the tone. And everybody just follows his lead.